Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget, I'm a family nurse practitioner. In today's video, I will be going over five ACLS ECG strips that you will see on either your, on your pretest for ACLS or your actual ACLS test. Make sure you stay till the end because I have a bonus for you. Drop me a comment below right now. Let me know which rhythm confuses you and I can do it on the next video. All right, this is going to be a super quick review because most people watching this you just want to know the answers for your acls tests and you already know but basically he, when i'm talking about um the pr interval the pr interval is, me is measured between p to the start of here the q okay and this is the r to r that's usually what you're going to be looking at especially for today's rhythms which you need to know like if, when i'm talking about the r to r interval or the pr interval all right so immediately what i see here is i see a p wave i don't see the qrs complex i'm looking here at the pr interval and okay looks looks about average, but then here I notice it's a little longer, longer, and then it's no longer there. So we know our little rhythm, that's the longer, longer, longer drop, then you have a winky buck. Okay, and you're like, all right, winky buck, winky buck, that's the second degree AV block, but is it type one or type two? Well, my friends, we wink with one eye, right? So if you wink with one eye it's type one so this rhythm is second degree av block mobits one which is aka the winky buck so um second degree type one the mobits type one the pr interval will gradually elongate until basically the p wave is completely blocked and then you don't see the qrs complex you see that it keeps elongating here all right here's our next one and you, maybe you're thinking to yourself, is this SVT? Is this supraventricular tachycardia? SVT is a regular rhythm. This, look at your R to R interval. It's all over the place. Like this is long, this is short, this is shorter, then this is medium, this is longer. So your R to R interval is irregular. Also, you don't really see P waves. Are they there? Are they not there? They're not clearly discernible. So if you said atrial fibrillation, you are correct. Yay! All right, so with AFib, there's no distinct P waves. It's chaotic. The rhythm is irregular, irregularly irregular, right? The P waves are irregular and the QRS is irregular. It's not happening at, the QRS isn't happening at the same length and neither is the P wave. The P waves are all over the place. Remember that with AFib, the atria are quivering. So you don't need to take out your calipers for ACLS, my friends. L just by eyeballing it here, you see how long this interval is, right? But the rhythm looks regular, right? It looks regular and this interval, it looks like it's about the same. So because it looks like it's about the same, this is actually first degree AV block and you have a prolonged p to r interval so here we go it's prolonged it's greater than 0 0.20 seconds um but there's no block like every every p wave eventually does get its qrs complex so very nice this one fairly easy to discern because of these types of p waves so what do you think this is if you said atrial flutter, correct. So atrial flutter, it has this sawtooth pattern, which is why I put all these types of saws here, like boom, boom, look, sawtooth pattern. But also, doesn't it kind of look like a dolphin or like a shark? I don't know, to me it looks like almost like a little dolphin fin or something, like a little fin. But, but what they say is that you will see a sawtooth pattern and the P wave, rate can range from 200 to 300. Now this is getting a little bit more like in depth. You won't need to know this in depth, but the P wave can have a ratio of like two to one. So you can have two P waves per one QRS complex or three P waves to one QRS complex. So here we're seeing three, it's a three to one ratio. But you know, again, for ACLS, they're not gonna ask you like, what is the ratio? of this rhythm they don't ask stuff like that just by looking at this we don't see a p wave right we see a wide qrs complex 
and they all look pretty much the same. So if you said monomorphic ventricular tachycardia, you are correct. Yay! As you guys can tell, well, I don't know if you can tell. If this, I'm, I'm like more hyper than usual today. I don't know. This stuff is like so interesting to me. With monomorphic ventricular tachycardia or monomorphic VTAC originating from the same area, from the same ectopic area in the ventricle. So it, there's no P wave because it's, it's happening in the ventricles, right? And the ectopic area is firing in, in one area. That's why it's monomorphic. Mono means one. So this same problem area is causing this to fire. Another, another detail of this rhythm is that you'll see this little notch here. You see those little notches, but again, you have a wide QRS complex and they pretty much all look the same. This is a very, uh, this is a very basic rhythm to be able to recognize the monomorphic V type. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I am a person of my word. I said there would be a bonus at the end and there is a bonus. So if you stay till the end, the bonus is if you want a viewable copy. So basically I send you this PowerPoint with a link to be able to view only. Um, you can get that for free. If you send me a screenshot of this, I have a lot of YouTube videos up. Okay. Oh, by the way, check out my ACLS video. All right. It's like, uh, check out my ACLS on like, it'll, you'll definitely pass. Like the BLS has been seen like 96,000 times. So check out my ACLS BLS if you're renewing or recertifying. But that being said, if you send me a screenshot of this video, because I, if you just send me like, oh, I want, a, I want a link to your PowerPoint that you said you would give us, I say that in a lot of videos. So please take a screenshot of this particular video. Make sure you subscribe, you like, and you turn on the notifications, and I will send you a link to this PowerPoint. Or the other option is, if you um, want a downloadable version, I will have this up on my Patreon account and you can become a Patreon member. Uh, again, check the link below and then you'll have access to like my PowerPoints. And if there's a specific PowerPoint that you want access to and you're a Patreon supporter of mine, then I will give you access to it. That's also downloadable. Listen, you guys, you guys support Kylie Jenner's lip kit. You support Kim K's skims collection. It's about time you support your local entrepreneur. If you become a subscriber of my Patreon, I would really appreciate it. Plus you're getting value content in return. Drop a comment below. Let me know what rhythms you want to see, um, how I can help you for your ACLS recertification. I'll also probably be posting this on my Etsy store, but with actual notes in regards to like what you'll see with each rhythm. And my Etsy store name is nursing with prof B nursing with prof B. Like I said before, you can find all of this in my, my detail section. Thank you.